Google Search Console page indexing errors. Blocked due to access forbidden, 403. What does this mean and how to fix it? And best practices. When Google tries to request a URL, your server sends 403 response code. That basically means the server requires authentication. This usually happens, happens on membership sites, e-commerce sites where you may have uh, login details for your customers, as in they need to log into their account on your website and so on. So the best practices then is make sure the sitemap you've submitted to Search Console does not contain those URLs that needs authentication, okay? And sometimes you may have login links on your website. If that's the case, what you need to do is add no follow to the links. Let's imagine you did have a login page with perhaps login form that users need to fill. Then Let's imagine that you had a link on your menu stru structure and that's the common scenario anyway. Then what you can do on the link itself provide rel no follow. That means Google will not follow the link to that URL that needs authentication. Next, what you can do is use robots.txt file to block Google to crawl those URLs. So that's another method. Also, you can check URL inspection tool to gain more insights as to referring pages, as in where did where did Google see that problem URL? That's the referring pages. And also look at page fetch. As we can see here, it says failed. Block due to access forbidden. That means you have a paid wall content or perhaps you have a membership site and so on. Another thing you can do is use conditional coding to send out um, let's imagine this scenario i'll show you an example because then it'll make sense you can use let's say a woocommerce let's imagine my account that's the typical url structure for woocommerce then you can say you know what google as in you code this to your website to say if is page that requires authentication you can say no index and also say no follow because if the URL content cannot be seen by Google then you either need to block Google to access that because it's it requires login details, right? So that's another option. And at times you may consider uh, you know, checking for Google crawlers. That may be optional for some types of websites. To say, you know what, if it's Google crawler to that URL, then do something. And although there is another option to add structured data for paid world content or subscription based content, I actually would not recommend this to most uh, website owners watching this video. Okay. So basically, block due to access forbidden is you have URLs that Google is seeing on your website that requires authentication so your options are outlined in this video 
either block Google accessing the, those URLs using the methods I've just shared. When you're linking on your website, because that could happen, as I've said, you may have a login page on your website. Then use rel no follow. Also, you can use conditional logic to no index and no follow as well. Okay. So one way or another, you need to make sure that Google does not see those URLs on your website. And if you have to include the links on your website, which is perfectly okay, perhaps membership site, uh, my account site, um, my account page uh, that requires authentication or other scenarios, then make sure the links have no follow. So Google doesn't follow it. And also then make sure you block Google crawling those URLs. You would use Rywatts or text to block crawling of URLs. And let's imagine that Google did index those. Then you can you can send no index directive. So Google will take those URLs that are private out from its index. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.